Hey, hey, yo. It's your boy once again coming back with another one. And this one is gonna be a big one. So strap yourselves in, cause we're gonna get it super cracking. I know you heard the news. I know you heard the news. And if you've been under a rock, oh, we got some craziness to get into. But, you know, we got to get everything else out the way. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Like, hit that notification bell. Because I'm going to keep on coming with these constantly. Also, you got to support your boy, TheUltimateRage.com. TheUltimateRage.com. That's why I got everything. You know, you can go there. You can get the music. You can get the bars, you know, the lyrics. And then you can support your boy. You feel me? Check out that outrageous EP everywhere. That Joey P, star EP everywhere. Oh, uh, and by the way, you should check out that uh, Just You Run Infinity EP everywhere anyway so uh yeah oh my goodness so you know what we're not even gonna play this game i'm just gonna read you guys the article because it's short and sweet so let's just get right into it. i'm gonna read it straight to y'all so this is from bbc news all right four days ago it say the title church sex abuse thousands of pedophiles in french church inquiry says thousands of pedophiles have operated within the french catholic church since 1950 the head of a panel investigating abuses by church members says jean-marc sauve or however you say that told French media that the commission had found evidence of 2,900 to 3,200 abusers out of a total 115,000 priests and other clerics. That's more than 1%, y'all. I'm, I'm adding that into the, to the article. That's not in the article. That's more than one. one like, look, 1% 1 of 100,000 is 1,000. They said 29 to 3,200. Damn. Yo. They are. Um, they are in that circle anyway. Oh. <laughs> the next line is a great one. That is a minimal. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing about this because it's actually not funny. It's actually quite sad and atrocious and disgusting. But, um, damn. <laughs> this is so, like, like, bruh. You can't write this stuff. That is a minimal estimate, he added. The commission is to release a lengthy report on Tuesday. And I guess that, that, that must have already come out, I guess, because it's Thursday. But anyway, it is based on church, court, and police archives, as well as interviews with victims. The inquiry was commissioned by the French Catholic Church in 2018, following a number of scandals in other countries. Hmm, wonder what countries those might be. Um, hmm. Anyway, Mr. Sauvé a senior civil servant told Francis Lamond newspaper that the panel had handed over evidence to prosecutors in 22 cases where criminal action could still be launched. He added that bishops and other senior church officials had been told of other allegations against people who were still alive. Commission members included doctors, historians, sociologists, and theologians. More than 6,500 victims and witnesses were contacted over two and a half years. The final report is 2,500 pages long. 
Christopher Lamb of the Roman Catholic publication The Tablet told the BBC that abuse scandals had plunged the church into its greatest crisis in 500 years. Oh yeah, we gonna get into that too. We gonna get into that. Almost, we almost done. Two more. Two more sentences and we out of here. Earlier this year, Pope Francis changed the Catholic Church's laws to explicitly criminalize sexual abuse in this biggest overhaul of the criminal code for decades. The new rules make sex abuse, grooming minors, possessing child pornography, and covering up abuse <laughs> an offense under canon law. Where do I begin? I guess I'll begin where I always begin. I mean, never mind the fact that, I mean, we can't get past the initial, does God exist? That's what sucks about religion. Y'all can't even get past that point. Y'all say y'all do, and then when we ask you is, I know the Lord exists because a crying stranger came to me, and I looked in their eyes, and there was God in that person's eyes. I heard the whistle of the wind, the tweet of the bird in the morning, the, 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 the waterfalls in the Niagara's. Okay, look. I know that you might have thought that sounded very poetic-like and stuff like that. And that, you know, it sounds sweet. You know, I'm sure that, you know, Little House on the Prairie Mothers would love that. But, like, it's 2021, okay? It's 2021. Time for you to show it. Where you at? 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 Oh, yeah. By the way, speaking of where you at, where was he at when all of this was happening? Where? This. Where was he? Oh, yeah. I... He works in mysterious ways. Or oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. No, no. Your favorite one. This was a part of his plan, right? Because he had to show the devil that, see, even when these horrible things are happening, see, really, it was a test, right? It was a test, a test to prove that these, you know, followers of the Lord Really, truly, truly believed in the Lord while, you know, the, the, pra the, yeah, yeah, while that was happening. Yeah, 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 we're gonna roll with that. Yeah, the Lord just watched it all happen. In fact, he planned on it. He made this happen, which is why it's plunged the church into its greatest crisis in 500 years. 500 years. And guess what? We stomping our foot on their neck now. Because how how do you answer for this? How? What is the point in worshiping Jesus? In worshiping the Lord? In worshiping Saint Mary and Saint Nick and Saint whoever the hell if it doesn't stop stuff like this from happening? What is the point? Never mind whether or not all of it's true. Obviously, you have zero evidence. We could just, you know, throw that argument out the window. Ain't no point in even talking to you about it. What is the point? What's the point? What's the point? Theists, Christians, Catholics, Protestants. Oh, if you think that this is just the Catholic Church, Protestants... Of course, you have to know you're fools, right? You have to. Because, I mean, I could go online right now. We could find all... Let's not even go there. Where's God? 
where he at? Why is he not stopping this? In fact, why is he planning this? If, you know, according to y'all, it's part of God's plan, you know. What's the point? What What is the point? What's the point? What's the point of God? What is the point of God if he can't stop this? Ain't that the point of, like, wanting to worship that he protects us? Well, where the hell? No, he's protecting the predators. He's not protecting us. He's protecting the monsters. The monsters that have been doing this for all this time. How long did it say? Let me go back. Uh, does it even say? Uh, the, the, the 22 cases. Uh, tw well, it's 2,500 pages long. So I'm sure they go... Heavily in depth, um, but let's just do, you know, a quick Google search. You know, okay. So Reuters says since 1950, over 200k, 200,000 children. Yeah, yeah, 200. Thousand. God, God, if you're listening, help, 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 help. Oh my God, what the hell took this nigga so damn long? 19, dude, it's 2021. You do the math. That's like. 71 years. So for 71 years, Jesus was just chilling, laid back like. Ooh, there go another one. Damn. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Oh, Jim Crow. Oh, that's nice. All right. Okay. All right. World War II. Come on, man. Hiroshima Nagasaki. Where is God to stop any of this? Why isn't God stopping Afghanistan? How about Iraq? How about Syria? How about the Congo? How about any of the nonsense that we see going on in the world? How about that shooting that just happened in Texas? It was a black kid. It was a black kid. It was actually a black kid. But you could tell it was a black kid because he... I don't think he killed anyone. Because you... I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. Y'all already knew where I was going. The world is crazy. Why is God not stopping any of this? That's the question. Christians, this. Why is God not stopping none of this? Don't you see? Your way is not working. It never worked. It cannot work. By definition, it doesn't work. There is no methodology to your claims. When we ask you, how do you know, what do you do? Well, I believe it by faith. You know why you believe it by faith? Because you got nothing. Well, I know because the Lord said in the book of what the faith that that the that the that the that the that the I know what it says. I, I read the book a lot. I got that. The question is, where, wh wh when is that going to happen? When? Where? How? How do you know? When? Where? How? Are you guys not embarrassed at this point? See, see here's what's funny about this, right? See, y'all might think I'm the embarrassing one because, you know, I don't got millions of views right now. But at the end of the day, I'm the future. You know why? Because I have the truth. I know the truth. The truth is, you don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. Faith is the excuse you give when you ain't got nothing else. That's why you're so anti-science. Because science can show you the methodology. And you could learn it. But see, that would be so much work. 
it's so much easier to just say, you know what, I'm going to read this book. They say Jesus, the Lord saved the world. So I'm going to just roll with that. And I'm going to keep reading the book over and over again. That's not the right way to go about life. It's like, I mean, just think about it. How could they possibly, possibly, A, have figured out the entire universe back then when we don't even know anything right now? I mean, we know a, lo we know a lot more than what we used to. But it's still so much more to learn. The more you learn, the more that you learn that there is to learn. You feel me? How could they have possibly known anything back then? They didn't even know how to brush their teeth. They didn't even know how to treat a leper. They didn't have antibiotics back then. They didn't have soap, I don't think, did they? The point is... These were ancient people. There is a reason why they believed these things. Because they didn't know any better. They needed something to help them deal with this crazy world that we all inhabit. But we live in an age now where we know we don't need to rely on these fairy tales anymore because of this thing called science and here's what kills me about people i had an argument the other day with a, a good friend of mine from high school made me realize my high school ain't as great as i thought it was i mean like i got a great education i thought the teachers did a pretty wonderful job Shout out to all my teachers back in school. Special shout out to Mr. Lebowski. You know what I'm saying? I see said the blind boy. You feel me? But, you know, because, you know, mad team and all that. You know, we was running it back then. But it's like, I mean, math is hard for people who aren't math inclined. And, and I get it, you know. Everybody has their own kind of thing. But see... In 2021, these things are no longer excuses, man. We got to stop with the excuses. This is what I had to realize about myself. You can make all the excuses in the world as to why we can't do something. Where has that got us? Where has that got the world on fire? We just seen this new report about how basically because the earth is dimming, it's not radiating as much light because of cloud formation and climate changing and all that. So because of that, we're retaining more heat, which is pretty much adding to the positive feedback loop of climate change getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Trapping the heat, which is causing more heat, and trapping more heat, and causing more heat, and it's causing more storms, and it's causing more heat, and it's causing more ch and pretty much, uh, it's not looking good. Not looking good. So, um, where's God, man? Why doesn't God just come down here and stop it? Stop it all. The shootings that's happening outside. Why don't he just come down. And say hey brothers. Calm it. Chill. It's not even that serious yo. Look. He didn't mean to bump you my brother. Ain't no reason to shoot the man. Okay. Let him be. He's going through some things right now. He's not even thinking about all that. You know what I'm saying. He. He just lost his brother last night, man. Chill. Chill out. Chill the fuck out. Look, smoke some weed, man. Smoke some. Clearly you need it because you tripping right now. Where is this Lord supposedly at? All of you theists out there do everything but showing us where he is.
You got so much to say. You come by with your platitudes and your I hope that the Lord and the Lord and you're going to hell with the Lord and the Lord devil, Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord have faith, mercy and healing and Lord please guide us in the Lord. Where is he? Where? Where? Oh, he's in heaven. Where is that? Where is that? It's outside of space and time. <laughs> okay, so where is that? How do you know? And show me why is why are these things so hard for y'all oh right I forgot I was talking about sex abuse in the church where was God okay why is he not stopping this I can't believe that y'all are like do y'all I mean it's so hard like I, I feel like this should be cut and dry like I feel like I've talked for way too long that pretty much me reading the article should have pretty much closed the, the argument. But come on, y'all. Like, where is God? Where is God? Why is Jesus not helping us? Why is he not helping these 200,000 victims? Where is Jesus at? Where? 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 Where is Jesus? Where? 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 I mean, I'm not, I'm done with all the back and forth, well, the this and the that, well, he works in mysterious ways, fuck all of that shit, it's over with for that, if you can't show us where this nigga is, he doesn't exist, and you need to let this non-existent ass nigga go, because he's not helping us with any of this, all you do is, well, Please, Lord Jesus, please help and help the victims and please stay with the families. How about, fuck that shit. How about let's stop with the bullshit. How about, how about, let's try this. Let's try something different. How about we don't have to have families of victims. In fact, we don't need to have victims. How about that? How about we get people to relax and chill? Maybe get some fucking therapy. Do some fucking goddamn, either some, some kind of, you know, psychedelic or something. Chill out. Relax. It's not that serious, man. We don't need to be fighting over this dumb, goofy nonsense. Jesus, if he ever existed... I'm sorry to tell you, Christians, but the man is dead. He's dead. He did not rise. He died. I understand you want to, you know, continue his legacy. And look, I'm sure he was probably a really swell guy. Probably had some nice words of wisdom every now and then. But he's just not that guy. He wasn't that guy. If he ever was a guy. If he ever existed at all. He was just some guy. Just like me. Except. For some reason. Y'all think that this guy knew everything. That guy didn't know as much as me. He wasn't even on my level. The dude probably doesn't know mathematics, okay? I was on the math team. I got the ribbons to prove it. We were destroying all the other teams in the city. That's why I'm the coldest in the city. That's why you need to check out that Outrageous EP streaming everywhere. Anyway. Where is God? Where Where is he? You know what? I'm going to start asking this question pretty much every day. Until one of you Christians out there comes to me with an actual 
literal answer, an actual location, a physical location as to where this nigga is at so that we can actually have a constant conversation and make some sense of all of this because this is absurd. We have tried the Jesus way for 2,000 years and look where we are. Plague, climate change, Crime, murder, rape, mayhem. Oh, did I say the R word? Damn, now I'm going to get demonetized. Damn. I mean, I could, like, post-edit this. I ain't got the time nor the patience. So I'm just going to upload this. Because it's not even about the money. Because what's money if we're all going to die, right? I mean... Maybe if y'all, I don't know, donated to my cash app. Or you could buy John Michael Goldier's book, Supermind, using my link. If you go to my support page on my website, theultimaterage.com. All right? Theultimaterage.com. Anyway, I'm just going to pretty much end it like this. Um... Where was God? Huh? Why does there need to be 200,000 victims? In fact, why would God set up this whole charade anyway? It's like some Squid Games type of shit. That's one of the reasons why people love Squid Games. I'm going to get into it more because I'm going to do a review. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do. If I need to make a separate channel. Or if I'm going to just drop it on. I think I'm going to just drop stuff on here. Since it's not like I got a billion views anyway. So I'm going to just talk about what the fuck I want. Because I need to just do whatever I want. Because I don't care what any of you have to say. I'm doing my thing. But. The point is. Why would God do all of this? For the lulls? He, he's allowing the whole entire Catholic church institution preying on children, children, for 200,000 years. And that's just the Catholic church. We're not even talking about all these other crazy churches and Places, you know, the, the places in Canada they was talking about. These old churches, they find the children bones in the backyard and stuff, man. Again, I asked, where was Jesus? Black people! Where was Jesus when we were enslaved? And we were dealing with Jim Crow. And Dr. King was getting shot in the neck. And Malcolm X was getting shot up at the motherfucking uh, service. You know what I mean? Like, giving the speech. Where was Jesus when Megan Evers was getting murdered? Where was Jesus when the kids shot up the school? Where was Jesus when Dylan Roof shot up the church? Where was Jesus? Where was Jesus? Where the hell? In fact, where the hell was Jesus? Where the hell is Jesus? Where? 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 Where, 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 where? Like, y'all make this too easy for us atheists. All I have to do is talk about any story that pops up in the news. And I can just ask y'all, where is Jesus? So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start asking every Christian, where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? Where is he? Because he's clearly not at the church. Because if he was, we would be fine, right? But no. The world that I see ain't like that. So, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Check out that outrageous EP on all streaming platforms all over the place. Check it out on... You know, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, Deezer Music, you know, Spotify, 
Apple Music, wherever streaming platforms are, go get that. Hook your boy up with a stream or two and share with your friends and family. Then go to theultimaterage.com. Go to that support page and support me however you see fit, please. We need to become a post-scarcity civilization, all right? Even if we can't become a perfect civilization, we should work towards perfection, becoming better day by day. And don't forget to check that Joey P. Star EP, Joey P. Star, the EP. Doing big numbers. My man's is doing big things. 25K streams. Good Lord. Let's go, my boy. Oh, and I'm coming up on 10. You know, I'm, well, I already passed 10K. I'm actually coming up on 12. But, you know, I'm man, you know. So, thank y'all for all the support. And let's keep it going. You feel me? Just you run. Check out the Infinity EP as well. You feel me? Hot fire. Let's party. One of my favorite tracks on there. So check it out. And stop fucking around. Support us. Support Shot Town's finest artists. And stop messing around. Stop supporting. I mean, Drake got enough followers. He got enough fans. It's time to support the local. The people that's actually trying to do something different. All right? That's all about. Peace out.